Ah, wow. <laughs> I used to imagine what it would be like to be up here as a graduate. And now that I am, wow. <laughs> and that's saying a lot since I'm no stranger to this stage. It feels like I grew up on the stage, and it isn't by chance that I ended up there. My great-grandparents actually started a theater in Israel, so I used to go to shows when I was very young. Back then, all I could see was the magic. I saw these magical universes that could transport us to another place where anything could happen. Theater became my passion, and nothing would make me happier than getting up on a stage and just letting loose. Whether I was good or not was a totally different story. <laughs> it wasn't until I was much older that I actually saw what has to happen before audiences see the magic. I didn't realize the hundreds of hours of rehearsal that go into creating a really great performance. Most people, especially young children with dreams in their heads, think that it's easy. That people just get on stage and open their mouths and move their bodies and that magic just appears. Nothing could be further from the truth. Artists who are really good make it look easy, but it has taken a lot of work and plenty of blood, sweat, and tears to get where they are. Unfortunately, I've seen far too many people stop doing the performing arts because they didn't feel they were good enough. They didn't realize that you have to allow yourself to be awful, and then you have to work really hard to fix all the awful stuff. That's how you get good. All you have to do is watch some videos of me when I was younger and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Clearwater Academy is known for its performing arts, for shows that are a cut above. But do you know why? It's because we aren't treated like ignorant children who can't do anything. My entire life here, I've been taught that we don't go on stage to show off, that the most important thing is what the audience experiences, that the communication is everything. Do you know what happens if you tell Mona you're not a singer or actor or dancer? She says, well, by opening night, you will be. <laughs> Just because we were children didn't mean we had to be amateur. Another thing some people don't realize is that if you really get into the performing arts here, you can end up with a first class education, not only in creative problem solving, but in business too. Think about it. Even when we look at what shows we will do, we are thinking with what it will take to create a product our audiences want, that we can sell. And then we have to work out what it will take to deliver it. We promote, we sell tickets, we fundraise, we merchandise, and then again, we deliver. And we do this all on a budget. <laughs> because I was so tired of feeling helpless about bad sound, I did my science fair project on sound engineering. And I now know how to adjust microphones and operate a soundboard. Thank you. I've also learned how to multitask. In the last few years, I have not only been on stage, but I have choreographed, directed, edited sound, designed and painted sets, and made props. By the way, do you know how clever you have to be to make a cool looking typewriter out of foam board? And with the last show, Unfinished, I learned what it takes to create a show from scratch. I can honestly say that I've received a first class education in the performing arts here. In short, what I've learned at Clearwater Academy goes far beyond the academic. I know what it is to have high standards in how to get a product. I got to put hundreds of children on stage for the holiday show and teach them choreography. I also got to teach an opening number to about 50 younger students, many of whom would have rather been playing on a playground somewhere instead of listening to me. <laughs> Believe me, once you've lived through this, you honestly believe you can do anything. The one thing I didn't always do so well is get my product in the most diplomatic fashion. So I apologize to anyone I may have yelled at or offended. <laughs> I really am a nice person when I'm not stressing to put a show together. 
<sighs> now that I've publicly apologized for being so mean, <laughs> I can say with complete certainty that I'm a product of Clear Art Academy and I'm so ready for life. I would not be here tonight if it were not for some very special people. To the staff and executives of Clear Order Academy, I have nothing but admiration for your dedication. You've put this school on the map and are here every day to ensure its future. You've created this amazing environment that has allowed its students to flourish in so many imaginable, unimaginable ways. To Susie, Jan, and my teachers, I know I haven't been the easiest student especially in the last couple of years, as my interests and responsibilities in the performing arts grew. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to be the artist I am and allowing me to color outside the lines. <laughs> to Cindy, you literally changed everything for me. I went from being extremely rebellious and not wanting to do anything, especially new grammar, <laughs> yeah, to understanding and loving new grammar so much that students started coming to me for help. <laughs> to Fred, my entire life here, you've always been this legend. I couldn't wait to get in your class. And then when I did, I discovered the truth to your mystery. Not saying it now. Thank you for being you. You have more than lived up to the legend. To my fellow cast members from Theater Madness all the way through Aida and Unfinished, there's something about getting through all those long hours of rehearsals and hell weeks that really puts a group bond there. You are my family, and I'll never forget you. <laughs> Seriously, Mona, I'm going to go off script for a second. Where are you? Backstage hiding. You seriously have changed my entire life. You made me realize my true passion before I even knew how to walk right. And everything I know about performing, you've taught me. It's no doubt that we have good and bad times, but through it all, you've been my rock, my cane, and my best friend. I could have taken up this whole speech thanking you, and that still wouldn't have covered everything. Point is, you're there when I need you and when I don't. And when I don't, I somehow end up needing you again. I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for me. I love you. Mom and Dad, you seriously are the best parents. You made it possible for me to do everything I wanted. You were my biggest fans, and most of all, you gave me the freedom I needed to create shows with Mona. <laughs> I can only hope that I will one day be the kind of parent you've been to me. Thank you all for sharing this very special moment with us. Good night.